So we're in Lulworth Cove now, and I'm stood on the Purbeck limestone. So this is the same group of rocks that the fossil forest was in, up the top. And if we look over to the side here, we're able to make out some large thrombolites and an exposed layer of the fossil forest just further round, right at the, the, the tip of Lulworth Cove. To the right hand side of that, that small brownish rock that we see in the distance is the Portland limestone formation, so it's not exposed very well. The Portland limestone is the hardest layer of rock exposed in Lulworth Cove. And before the cove looked as it does today, it formed a barrier to protect this area of land from the sea. Now over time, that begun to erode break apart and the sea would enter Lulworth Cove. Behind the Portland limestone is a series of progressively weaker and softer rocks. Something like the green sand or the Wealdon clay is very vulnerable to erosion. And as soon as the Portland limestone formation is breached, the action of waves, particularly over the winter and during storms, would have eroded the cove and formed what we see today. We can see this process happening today over in Stair Hole. So we can see the Portland limestone beginning to breach and its effect on the soft wheeled and clay behind. The layers of rock that we stood on here are almost vertical. They're steeply tilted and that's a result of tectonic pressures. So the same layers of rock that we are stood on here appear on the other side of Lulworth Cove. And that's true of all of the rock layers. The Portland limestone, the Purbeck limestone, the Wealdon, the Greensand and the Chalk. That repeated geology is because we're on the strike of the rocks. So all of the rock layers continue in this direction. They continue west to east along the coast in what's known as a concordant coastline. So this is the Wealdon clay formation and you'll note that it's made up of a sort of mix, a rainbow of different colours. And the red colour in there is uh, rusting of iron minerals that were deposited uh, during the Cretaceous period. They rusted out to form this stain effect on the, on the clays. The Wealdon was laid down uh, on land. It was deposited by a series of fast flowing rivers and that's why we'll see a lot of pebbles a lot of small uh, stones mixed in amongst the, the clay, the sand and the silt. The green sand marks a return to shallow marine conditions following the terrestrial wheeled and clay. So the green colour, this really striking green colour, is formed by a mineral called glauconite and the chalk is the final layer of rocks, the youngest rocks exposed here in Lower Cove. So they mark a return to fully marine conditions and these white layers are built up of millions and billions of tiny organisms known as coccolithophytes. 